Okay, this is buffalo macaroni and cheese bites. This is on to page 10. Uh, there's spicy little appetizer bites and they're served with the blue cheese dressing. This is a great little appetizer. This is great for football season. Um, one of those things that you can, just little finger foods that you can make for football season. Now, this is also one of the recipes that I was telling you about that I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on first so that it will work for you at home. What you need to do for this recipe is when you boil the noodles for your macaroni and cheese, you are going to grossly overcook the pasta, okay? And I'm talking like 12 minutes, you're going to let it boil. At the point in time you taste it, it has no texture, no flavor, it's done. Um, that's the point you're going to cook it to. It's going to regain texture when you put it in the fridge. It's got to go in the fridge for about three hours. But the reason why you're overcooking it so much is you want all the starch to come out. You want these things to stick together so that when you bread them, they stick together. So you're going to grossly overcook the pasta, then you're going to drain it for 12 minutes as well. And what that does is once the pasta comes out, you just let it sit in, in a colander for a little while, and it'll just pull itself together, and it really sticks together nicely that way. So first what I'm going to do is we are going to uh, spray the pan. And I'm going to show you how to put the macaroni and cheese. You're going to mash it a little bit too so it sticks together. And I'm going to show you how to put it in the pan. Because this is hard. So you guys just let me know when you want me to stop. If you think that you can handle this. Do you guys think you can handle that? Uh, all right, good. What you want to do too is you want to take either a gloved hand or just a damp hand and press that down into the muffin pan uh, when you go ahead and make it. This is going to go into the refrigerator for about three hours or you can uh, keep it in the fridge overnight as well. Now, what that looks like when you pull it back out is like that. And we're going to bread these. And this is going to go into the hot sauce, the flour, egg, and then the French fried onions. Um, I'm going to use some gloves for this. Now, does everybody know how to do wet hand, dry hand? Do you know what that is? That is you keep one hand with, you touch only dry ingredients with the dry hand, and you touch only wet ingredients with the wet hand. And that should prevent you from getting the Frankenstein pumpy fingers. In theory, it should. It never seems to work out that way at my house. Now, if you have kids and you want to make these for kids, because this, this recipe has kids written all over it, uh, you probably don't want to use the hot sauce. What you can do is you can just put it in the flour. You don't need to use the hot sauce at all. Or if you want, you can use barbecue sauce. We got some French fried onions here. And I think this is a genius idea to bread these in French fried onions because it adds a whole lot of flavor to it. But if you don't have French fried onions or you don't want to use French fried onions, um, Move those two plates down there, please. Thank you very much. You could use panko. I use panko at home, and I put garlic salt in it with a little bit of pepper, and it was really delicious like that. So we'll just spread a couple more of these. And I think I just mixed up wet head and dry hand. But it doesn't matter when you have gloves on. You can break the rules when you have gloves on because it doesn't matter if you get puffy fingers. You can just take the gloves right on off. Some French fried onions. We'll do one more putting them on a baking sheet over here that's lined with parchment paper. Parchment paper can be a little expensive, so if you don't want to use parchment paper at your house, just use a cooking spray. And if you don't have a mini muffin pan like Eric said on that video, you can use an ice cube tray. That works really well. You can also make these big. You can put them into large muffin tins and make nice big bites. These are also trending on restaurant menus everywhere. I've seen them in, I saw them in Maine when I was in Maine. I've seen them in Michigan. Um, I've seen them all over the place. So this is like a new trendy recipe. You might want to learn, learn this and, and do it at home because it's going to be really popular, especially if you have company.